Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day like always. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. We are back on the grind. Uh, I'll be posting every, like two times a week. I'll be trying to. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Breaking down the Broncos win versus the Panthers. Alrighty, so we are going to be t breaking down the Broncos versus the Panthers win. And Guess what? <laughs> and the Broncos beat the Panthers 32 to 27. Yes, 32 to 27. And it was a pretty close game to be honest with you. We we had some struggles in the fourth quarter, but we still got the win so we're breaking down. So the first touchdown so they the Panthers go three and out on their drive. They punt it away. Deontay Spencer uh runs it for a eighty three or eighty one yard a rushing touchdown. I mean, <laughs> a punt return touchdown. And then Brandon McManus misses the field goal, so it is six nothing. Then it's the the, the uh Panthers go three and out. Then Broncos have ball. Well, it's a couple drives later. Drew Locke has, is on the ball looking, looking, and then they collapse. They just sack and ball goes out. They they pick it up, and then Jerry Judy came out of nowhere like DK Metcalf did to Buda Baker, but came out of nowhere and just tackled him at the, like, two- or three-yard line, and then they set it up, and then Mike Davis scored, and then they got the field goal, so it's 7-6. to six. Now we're heading – now it's the third quarter. I mean, the, yeah, no, it's the uh, uh, second quarter, and we're, and we're, right now, the the Broncos are having a good drive, and then Drew Locke passes to uh, Nick Vanett uh, for a touchdown. He hadn't scored a touchdown since Seattle two, for two years, and then it comes to halftime, um, who was it? Uh, then they go. The Panthers go three and out. Then we get the ball, and then we score because Drew Lock hit a KJ Hamler for his second NFL touchdown. And then the Panthers, I yeah, the Panthers scored. It was on a what was it? It was like it was a field goal. Yeah, it was. A, was it? I think it was actually. Yeah. Wait. 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 No, they scored somehow. I don't know, like Mike Davis or somebody or Teddy Bridgewater. And then the Broncos scored again, which put them up 25. Yeah, it was 25 to uh, like 10. Yeah, it was, no, it was 25. Yeah, 25 10. So they did actually kick a field goal. Yeah. And so it was 25 10. And then they scored. Then they scored again, which made it. 18? Yeah, they got the two-point... No, did they? No, they didn't. It was a different... It was... They scored, and then they went seven up. Then they then they kicked the field goal to make it 20 to 25. Then, then we scored again to make it 32 to 20. Then they scored to... With the rushing touchdown for Teddy Bridgewater. And then it came down to this. Uh, wait, we scored again because Drew Locke threw a touchdown to Jerry. I mean, to not Jerry Jerry, to KJ Hamler. And then uh, it, it was coming. It was like three minutes left, and they had so much. And then it was fourth down in about eight. And then we got. Uh, it was a little pass. It was pass short. And then we stopped them by, thanks to Bosby. Well, Will Parks had a sack. Um, Draymond Jones had a sack. Uh, Celester Williams, I think he had one, and Bradley Chubb had had one. They and then we didn't have interception and any interceptions for the Broncos or the Pan Panthers, but the Broncos did fumble the ball. And then it was fourth down, and then we nailed it, and then the Broncos won. The Broncos did did good. I'm just, the Drew Lock threw zero, zero interceptions. Zero interceptions, and that was really good for him. On because he, he, Sherlock is a good, he's good. It's that it's just that he, 
he he hasn't have any experience really. And I forgot also we scored with Tim Patrick, uh, 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 Tim Patrick, for touchdowns. So he had four touch four touchdowns, zero interceptions for Teddy Bridgewater who had three. No, he had two touchdowns. Or two or one, I, yeah. but Drew Lock went for 280, 80, 280 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, 21 for 27. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater went for like for 20 out of 20 for 30 completion, one touchdown, and he went for zero interceptions, 283 yards. That's pretty good. And the receiving, uh, receiving for the Broncos, we. KJ Hamler, two receptions, 81 yards, two, D, two, D, two TDs. Melvin Gordon, 13 rushes, 56 yards, I believe. And then Drew Locke. And then we have Mike Davis, who had 13 carries for 81 yards. And then they had, for two TDs, uh, Robbie Anderson, five receptions for 83 yards. So, it was all around a good game for the Broncos. They did win, finally. And now they're on the road to the Buffalo Bills, who won to the Steelers. This is going to be very interesting. I have a video coming out on Wednesday, the predictions. I didn't do two weeks of predictions because I didn't, like, I didn't feel like last week. And it was, like, it was horrible. Or this week. So, I've been taking a two-day, two-week break on that. But, we'll see... What can happen for the Broncos if they can go 8-8 eight and eight and maybe sneak into playoffs? We'll just have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Who, what, what do you think about the NFL? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.